Hey, thanks for stopping by. Today we're going to talk about some of the latest updates in Lightburn. And there's a couple of really cool features that if you know where they are, you can save yourself a lot of time. Today I was cutting out some 8th inch plywood, uh, making some custom boxes for a customer, and I noticed that there was a small section in that box that didn't cut out because of a glue pocket or something like that. It didn't go all the way through. All the rest of the parts and pieces were fine, except for this little bitty section. Well now, you have the ability to go into Lightburn, into the preview mode, and select where you can actually start your project from, and only just redo that very small section that wasn't cut out. Um, I think that can be a real time saver. I'll show you how easy it is to do today. Let's check it out. So when I was looking at this project, you'll notice that it's just a, a, a finger joint box, a, a fairly large in size, and it looks like to me it, it, it's well cut all the way. Except for this little bitty piece right here. In other words, I can tap on this and it, it doesn't rattle. Where all the rest of this stuff, you can tell, it's cut out. Okay, except for this one corner right here. What I'm going to show you is you can go back into Lightburn and indicate that this is where you want to cut out a second time without actually having to completely rerun the entire job. Now, this took about four, four and a half minutes to cut out. If I had to rerun this job, it would take four and a half, another four and a half minutes before I could get this cut out and move forward. With the new feature in Lightburn, I can go ahead and select where I need to cut out, just this little section here. And I might go from here down to here just to be safe. Um, and we'll go ahead and get it cut out. And I would imagine this is only going to take 15 or 20 seconds, where it would have taken me four and a half minutes to, to recut it just to get this loose. So let's go into uh, Lightburn, and I'll show you how to handle that. So this is the... Uh pattern for the box that I just showed you. And you might remember that this section right in here was a section that was not loose. It wasn't fully cut out. So I want to just redo this section from here down to here to make sure that this is all loose. Now, instead of redoing this whole box, which took about four minutes or so to cut out, four and a half minutes to cut out, I'm just going to tell Lightburn that I want it to cut, start from here and cut this corner and down this edge out. And how that's done is if I, I've got uh, cut selected graphics, so I'm going to go ahead and highlight it all. And I'm going to come into the preview window. And you'll notice something pretty cool right here. So I'm going to back this up until I see the line that I know, you can see right where it starts right there and goes around. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to back this up and I'm going to start right there. And you'll notice a new button now. There is called a start here button. And so now that I've uh, selected this, I can go ahead and say, we want to start here and we want I'm going to send the job to the laser from here. And I'm going to name it and it's going to say there's already one there and I'm going to want to overwrite it. Okay, we've loaded that file into the controller. I'm going to go ahead and press start. And what it should do is it should start right here and work down this edge. And then what will happen is I will probably, I can see this is loose on this side. Um, I will probably just get this corner cut out and then hit pause and escape and I'll only cut just a small portion of this. Let's check it out. Pause. Escape. And now it's cut out. Oh. And now 
that took 15 seconds instead of 4 minutes and 50 seconds. Just to recap, if you go to pre preview and just slide your cursor, move your, move your cursor back to where you want to start the project, hit start from here. It'll, you can either send the job or start the job depending on what you're doing. And uh, what a great way to save some time. I hope this was helpful. As always, if you guys would please like and subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. Have a great day.